part of the problem is, you know, that we've got ende endemic within the public schooling system, charter or not. Mm -hmm. the, the standardized testing is the way you measure whether a school is successful or not. Right, and right. So, so even, so for example, I, I know somebody who, for, in, here in Massachusetts, who for many years was very much enjoying himself as a teacher in a vocational school. Mm. But then, and, and the kids in vocational schools knew what they wanted to do. They were enjoying what they wanted to do. They were going to go out and get jobs related to what they were doing. Mm -hmm. And then once we had uh, standardized testing and the vocational kids had to take the same damn tests, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that gets ruined. Now they yeah. have to, yeah. the school is regarded as a failing school unless they perform well on these tests that have nothing to do with what their interest really have nothing to do with anything, but <laughs> right, nothing, right. certainly nothing to do with what these kids are interested in or motivated for. And he talked about how it pretty much destroyed the experience of the right. vocational school. So, so in many ways, we have moved towards less choice than we had before, and partly because of this unified way of assessing right. whether a school is successful or not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you're a charter school, you can do all the kinds of interesting things you might want to do, but if the kids don't score high on those standardized tasks, the school will be regarded as a failure. Mm -hmm. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible? is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.